Sometimes a sphere isn't the best way to preview your material. And fortunately, Cinema 4D offers lots of material preview options. To change the material preview, just right click in the preview area, either in the material editor or within the attribute manager. I really like the double torus as well as the not preview options. And we can get a different view of this preview by holding down the shift key and dragging within the preview. And we can actually rotate around the preview object. The object preview here is also really handy, and I like it especially when I'm dealing with transparency, because I think it gives a really good view of the transparency with that object inside it. Of course, if you're working with a flat image or logo, a great idea is to use the plain or plain backlight options. And because this is a movie file, I can actually choose to animate the preview, and we'll actually see the animation there in the material preview window. Not a great idea to leave this on because it does use up quite a bit of resources. Now, of course, I've been showing you all of these options with the huge material preview choice selected, but you can also choose many different material preview sizes, or if you want, you can even break it out into a new window. Do keep in mind that Cinema 4D is actually rendering these previews in the background, so it can get a little slow depending on the options you choose. Uh, especially if you choose some of the GI options, which give you a great view of how your object would look under GI lighting, but do add additional render time. Another key thing to keep in mind is that material previews can be specified at the shader level as well. Here we have a gradient preview, and it's being displayed using the same flat 2D display that's typical for most shaders. But we can specify a different material preview here as well. So I can choose something like torus and more easily visualize the U direction versus the V direction of this particular shader. When you're dealing with something like a noise, especially a noise with animation, this can be handy also because you can enable the animate option and see the speed with which that's going to animate. And also, maybe if you're dealing with a brick shader, it would be more helpful to see that brick shader on a cube rather than in a flat 2D form. So keep in mind that you can apply these material previews at the shader level as well. And finally, once you've found presets that you really like to work with for your material previews, go into the preferences in the material preview tab and here you can specify the default size of your material preview as well as the default preview type for shaders and for materials. You can also specify the frame rate for the animation when you choose to animate the material preview, as well as the number of seconds to cache for that material preview. So I hope that gives you a great look at how to manage your material previews in Cinema 4D. We're gonna have some more quick tips on material previews in the coming weeks.